What's up, everybody? It's been a while since I posted my last video about my injury. I've been super, super busy, but uh, here's another update on what it's been like since my last video, which was two weeks post-op. Uh, today is Saturday, November 5th, and for those of you who don't know, I suffered an Achilles tendon tear playing rugby for my university. On September 17th, I had surgery on the 21st of September, and now we're just a little bit over six weeks post-op. So a lot of updates have happened since my last video, and I wanna go ahead and share that with all of you. So since my last video, I got my hard cast off, which was super, super exciting. I was put into an air cast with four heel wedges to kind of slow that progression back to neutral again. And I took a video clip that I'm gonna share with you guys, like usual, view it to your discretion. It's not that gruesome, but just a disclaimer, if you don't like it, skip to the next part of the video. I was given instructions by the surgeon to start having some partial weight bearing on my leg with the crutches, of course, to kind of start reintroducing the whole walking process, um, as well as starting my physiotherapy, which is very, very important. He emphasized the fact that it's very important to start trying to activate my calf muscles and trying to keep everything toned. So another thing that I started incorporating was uh, the TENS muscle stimulating unit. I try to use that every single night. I'm gonna go ahead and share a clip of that, uh, which is really important just to you know, keep those muscles toned when I really can't be uh, working with them in the gym, doing my own calf raises or any other leg exercises, it just really keeps them active a little bit, uh, which is really important. I would try to use it for about 20 minutes every single day, just you know, keep those muscles awake and trying to decrease that atrophy. So I went ahead and started physio right away. Fortunately, with the school and the rugby team, I have uh, excellent access to great athletic trainers, athletic therapists and trainers who've been really, really great in this whole entire process. Granted, with my busy school schedule, I've been trying to go at least three times a week, three to four times a week, and on my own time, at my house, whenever I can, I'm doing my own movements as well. I really, really want to emphasize the importance of physiotherapy and trying to get that movement back, especially with myself, the plantar flex, so going downwards is uh, got pretty, pretty good quick, but the dorsiflexion, which is really putting your Achilles uh, intention and into work is really important. So trying to get that range of motion back and not just being stagnant and doing nothing. The physio has been really, really important. I started off just doing some active movements. So moving my ankle side to side, plantar flex, dorsiflex, up and down on my foot. And then as I gained some strength back, we started moving into some more, uh, into some ISO. So like holding or holding the gas pedal position. And then I started moving into some seated calf raises, uh, some towel slides with my foot in a dorsiflex position. I'm gonna put a clip of what that stuff looks like so you guys can kind of see an illustration of the physiotherapy process. With the help of physio, obviously, then I started gaining some strength back. So I think around week three or four, I was actually able to walk without any crutches, which was great. Still with the boot on, obviously, 
I started to get rid of the crutches and the knee scooter, which I talked about in my last video. And I was able to walk around with the boot on, which is great. I obviously didn't try to overdo it. I think it's really important to work in moderation. So just around my house or like within the buildings that I was in at school, I was able to walk around, which was great, great news. That's a step closer to, you know, being independent and getting my walking abilities back. In regards to the actual wound itself and the scar, about two weeks ago, it started to show a little bit of signs of irritation, some redness and puffiness around the scar. So the sports medicine doctor decided to monitor it for a couple of days. It never really got better. It never really got worse. So just as a safety precaution measure, they decided to put me on antibiotics to prevent the spread of any deeper infection or anything more serious. This kind of helped actually clear things up. So all of last week, I was on antibiotics and all of this week, I was on antibiotics to just kind of try and calm things down, which I think really helped. So I'm really fortunate in the fact that, you know, we were able to monitor the wound and be proactive to prevent anything serious from happening. During this time period last week, I had a very frightening experience. I actually ended up falling off of my knee scooter in my own home. I took my air cast off to let my wound air out a bit and I was just turning into my office the new scooter tipped over and I planted my foot, my affected foot onto the ground directly. Uh, this was kind of like a painful thing that happened and immediately the first thought in my mind was that, oh no, maybe something serious happened to my injured leg. So this kind of sent me in like a loophole where I was freaking out a bit and I didn't really know what the consequences of this was. Fortunately, I was able to meet with the sports medicine doctors uh, at McMaster the next day in the team clinic. And they gave me some reassurance that the strength and functionality of my Achilles tendon was still there. So the Achilles was still intact, which was very reassuring to hear. But there was a little bit of an indent. So they thought maybe that's probably just some fascia or scar tissue that got a little broken up due to the incident. But I had an appointment with the orthopedic surgeon, actually regular post-op appointment booked, which was a couple of days ago on Tuesday, and which he reassured me that the Achilles was still intact and everything was fine. He could still see the Achilles and the strength was still there. So I think this was just really a wake up call to be very cautious and be careful because still things are still in the healing process. So this put me back a little bit. I was actually in two heel lifts last week. So after this incident, I went back to three heel lifts just to kind of take things slow and take it easy and make sure things heal properly. All in all, I really wanna share the importance of patience and being positive. Throughout this whole entire journey, I've just noticed that taking shortcuts or rushing or trying to speed things up isn't really going to help. You're, you got to listen to your body. You got to stay patient. Do your exercises, even if they seem tedious at times and very repetitive. They're there for a reason and they're going to help you. These little steps are going to make a big impact in the end. Uh, the physiotherapy has been super important part of my, my recovery process. And I've just really tried to stay positive. Things have been kind of slow and at times negative thoughts do come into my mind about, you know, wishing that I could do this or wishing I can do that. But there's really nothing to do about it right now other than staying positive, finding new hobbies. I'm still trying to go to the gym as much as I can, which has really, really helped me. So I do what I can do and I just look forward to every day getting better and better and getting one step closer to being back to playing sports again and doing the things that I love to my fullest ability. Did they hyperfix this for you? You know what I mean? Wow. wow. Yay! <laughs>